Hi, I'm Movie Man. I'm an octopus that reviews movies. And today's review is going to be on... My friend was... So, you're probably wondering... This movie came out two weeks ago. Why are you only talking about it now? Well, it's simple. Because this movie was released two weeks ago in America. But however, over here in Ireland, we only got this two days ago. Um, so yeah, we had to wait two weeks to get this movie, but hey, just remember, we got Gran Turismo two weeks before you guys, so I guess, I guess it's safe to say that's a pretty fair deal, honestly. But anyway, so yesterday I went to go see Haunted Mansion. Now, I'll be honest, from the, from all the marketing that I saw of this movie, this wasn't really a movie which I was all too looking forward to. Like, it didn't look like an absolutely terrible movie or anything, but it didn't really look like a very good movie either. It just looks like it was just going to be not a very good film. But, anyways, I saw this movie yesterday and what did I think? In my opinion, this movie was alright. It wasn't a great movie. It wasn't really an amazing film either. But overall, I thought it was a fine enough film. It wasn't it wasn't a bad film, it wasn't a terrible movie either. So let's get into my thoughts on this film. So, first off, the cinematography in this film is very good. I think this movie is shot really well. Um, like, um, I had not to mention the film, it has this very dark color palette, um, which, like, which really fits the film well. And yes, Despite how dark this how dark this film is, I was still able to you know make it make out like everything and stuff. Um, like unlike the Little Mermaid, which could just be really dark at times, and that would just make it look very bland. Honestly, this movie also has very dark color palette to it. But it actually does it in a way that works where like like it's actually nice, very nice to look at and you can clearly make out everything. So yeah, the fact that this movie was able to use a very dark colour palette better than a than a like high budget live action remake is really saying something. But um anyways so then there's the editing in this movie. Um the now the editing in this film is pretty it's, it's I think it's I think it's solid enough editing. Um like oh like I mean Oh there are a lot of a lot of films from Disney in the last two years that can kinda of have problems when it comes to the editing and stuff, but I think the editing in this movie is very good. I think, I think it's all done very well. So, yeah, the film, the ending in this movie is very good. Um, 
Then there's there's the pace in the movie. So now this film is notably way longer than the Haunted Mansion movie from 2003 because that film was literally only an hour and 28 minutes. That was that was less than an hour and a half. Meanwhile, this movie is a whopping two hours and five minutes. Making it only ten minutes shorter than Gran Turismo. And I'll be honest, the like yeah, I'll be honest, this movie it could it could feel very long, honestly. Um but I'll be honest, it wasn't really something that very bothered me that much. Um like like I'll admit the first ten or fifteen minutes were a bit slow and kind of hard to get through, but once the film got going it really it really got going. Um and I I think it introduced all the characters well enough and um so yeah the the pace in this movie was very good. Then there's the sound and music. So I think that the sound and music in this film is very good. Um I, I, I don't I don't I don't think it's it's like an amazing soundtrack or anything, but overall I think it's a solid enough score. And yeah, I think it I think it works very well honestly. Um now one massive complaint that I would have for this movie is the visual effects. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, the visual effects in this movie were not very good. Um like I I mean I I think I I think like the visual effects they looks very like it was very cartoony and softy. They went for this really crazy kind of a style, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not like it very much. Um, I just didn't think it really worked, honestly. Um. Now, like, and at times they could even look like they were, like, right out of a video game. Now, like, now, now that's not to say that they're absolutely horrible or anything. They're not on the same level as The Flash or anything. Which is really saying something. But with that being said, they weren't very good in my opinion. Then, there's the characters. So our main protagonist for this movie is Ben Mathias, and I'll be honest, I thought he was actually a very solid main protagonist. Um, I thought he had a he had a pretty good arc in the movie. He made for he made for quite a likable character, and I think he was he was able to lead the movie very well, honestly. And um. I'll be honest, Lakeith Stanfield, he, he did, I think, in my opinion, he did a very good performance uh, as Ben. Um, like, he, along with another cast member who I'll talk about in a minute, were the standouts of the movie. So, yeah, I thought Ben was very good. Uh, then we have Gabby and her son, Travis. Um... Gabby and Travis, they're, they're fine enough characters. I wouldn't really call them great or anything, but I'll be honest, that they, they, they were all right. Like, they, they were okay. Um, then we have Kent, who is a priest, and, um... I'm gonna be honest, 
I did not like Ken's very much. Like, um, like, I like, like, I mean, of course, he, he's played by Owen Wilson, and, well, Owen Wilson, his performance isn't really bad or anything, but, like, I, I felt as he, he could, he could kind of be a little, like, he could like a little too, like, that little too insane for my liking, um, and, like, um, not to mention, they, they didn't, they didn't even really do much with his character for, like, the first two acts. It was really only in the, th in the third act when he really kind of started to become heavily involved in the plot. And, and, and throughout the whole film, I could actually find him kind of annoying, honestly. So, yeah, the movie didn't really make very good use of Owen Wilson. And, and then, and then we have Bruce, who is this university professor, I think. And he's, of course, played by Danny DeVito. I thought Bruce was a, and he was an alright character. Um, well, and, um, like, I mean, he was pretty much just Danny DeVito being Danny DeVito, but... He was he was all right. He was he was okay. And and then, and then we have Harriet, as who is this psychic woman. And I'm gonna be honest. I actually really liked her. I actually thought she was made for such a fun character. I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed her. Like, I mean, like, she actually made for surprisingly a really fun character. Like, and, 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 and like, Tiffany Haddish actually did a very good performance. She and Lakeith Stanfield were, in my opinion, the standouts of the cast. So, we all, so in this movie, we also have Madame Leosa. Of course, she was a character from the 2003 movie as well, in which she was played by Jennifer Tilly. Uh, well, and, and then now, now in this version, Madison Leosa is played by Jamie Lee Curtis. And, um, like, I felt that this, like, this movie, like, I, 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 I thought it took some interesting turns that Madame Leos had. I mean, it, had, it definitely had some interesting ideas for her character and stuff. But however, I just like, I felt as if the movie didn't really do a whole ton with her compared to the one from 20 years ago because like, I don't know, like in this, I mean, in this version, like she, only, she really only appears in like one or two scenes and yeah, I mean, she's just not really given a whole lot to do. And Jamie Lee Curtis does a good enough performance for what she is given, but I felt the movie could have done a lot more with her, honestly. Also, not to mention, like, okay, this movie, did this movie just really, did they really CGI a lot of Jamie Lee Curtis? Like, honestly, I, I don't know, do I just feel like they went a bit too overboard with her or something? And then we have the main villain of the movie, the Hatbox Ghost, also known as Alistair Crump. And yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I actually thought he was, surprisingly enough, a really good villain. Um, like he could, he could actually make for quite an intimidating villain, honestly. Um, and I, and I mean, I'm actually quite surprised I was, I guess I'm saying that, um, and it's like, he's, he's placed by Jared Leto, now they did CGI Jared Leto up a lot, but, um, yeah, Jared Leto plays the hatbox ghost in this movie, and, like, I mean, I'll be honest, I mean, 
like, I mean, say with Trump, I was trying to let it open, but I'll be honest, I actually thought he did a very good performance in this movie. Now, granted, I'll admit the C, I, I'll admit, like, the CGI for him, it did look very wonky, very weird, honestly, and, and yeah, I know, it's, I, I just, I didn't, I mean, I didn't really find him, like, that intimidating when he was, like, when, like, we could fully see him and stuff, but, nonetheless, he, it was, he, he was all, overall really good villain, and Jared Lasso did a surprisingly very good performance. Yeah, so I guess it's safe to say this is an improvement over, you know, Morbius last year. So, the characters in this movie were pretty solid. What, I, the film could have done a bit more with one or two of them, but... They were overall pretty solid characters. Oh, and not to mention, there's even there's even that there's even a cameo in this movie from a very noticeable um actress. I won't say who it is, but I'll give you a hint. She stars alongside Jared Leto in the movie from nineteen ninety nine, and like. I mean, she was a great casting choice for this movie. Well, like, but the film just really, it really did not do anything with her. It only has her in the movie for one scene, and that was it. The movie definitely could have done a lot more with her. Um. So, uh, so yeah, the characters were solid, but like with with Lakeith Stanfield as Ben. And Tiffany Hazish as Harriet were the standouts. But the film definitely could have done a bit a lot more with one or two of the characters I felt. So then we have the plot of this movie. Now I'll be honest, the the now this movie is actually quite different from the 2003 film. Like it actually and like it tried to do something different with this new version. Well, and to be honest, I actually, I actually really like that. If anything, I actually prefer it that this movie tried to do something way different. And I'll be honest, the direction that it took and everything, it actually, it didn't have, it didn't, I thought, I thought it went in an actually a pretty alright direction. Now, with that being said. This movie was not as entertaining as the 2003 film. Because the 2003 movie, well, it was a very funny film. There was a lot of scenes in it that were very funny. But in this, in this film, however, now I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't really laugh at the jokes a whole lot. Now don't get me wrong, that's not to say I didn't laugh at any of the jokes. There was there was a small amount of jokes that I found pretty funny. There was this one joke from Harriet which actually made me laugh a good bit, but with that being said, this this movie was just it was not as funny or entertaining as the 2003 film. But with that being said, I can respect this movie for Taking a different direction from the original film. And then we have the narrative structure. And so so of course the film focuses on like it like, like it focuses on this whole part of like trying to figure out like what's going on with this house, what happened in it and stuff. Which I think makes for a very good plot. Um and we do have a few subplots with some characters, like there's a subplot with Ben's character, there's a subplot with Travis's character, and I think the way that they all that they fit into the main narrative, I think it's done in a pretty it's it's done in an alright way, honestly. Um And I think that the movie it, it it does do its whole plot of trying to figure out what happens in the house and everything. It's all done very well in my opinion. Again, I will say that this movie could have been a lot more entertaining, but more to catch more more but 
I thought the way it did its plot and everything, it was all done in a, in a pretty good way. So overall, Haunted Mansion 2023, it was surprisingly enough an alright movie and it was admittedly way better than what I had been expecting. Um, now that's not to say this movie was a particularly a great film or really I wouldn't I wouldn't this wouldn't be an amazing film in my opinion. Like the, like there the, I mean I did have a fair few issues with the movie, like the visual effects weren't very good. One of they we could have done a lot more with a few of its cast members and again it just wasn't as entertaining as the two thousand three film. But all, but with all that being said, I, I I think like I think it does it does have a pretty good plot with how how it tries. I do I, I do respect this movie for trying to be different from the two thousand three movie, going in a completely different direction, with some fairly new ideas, um, uh, and um. Yeah, and yeah, and so and 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 a lot. I saw some of the characters were pretty alright. With, with again, with like Keith Stanfield's as Ben and Tiffany Haddish as Harry were the standouts. Um. So so if so if you're interested in this movie, like this wouldn't really be a very high recommendation for from me, but. I'll be honest, if you would be interested in seeing like a new take on the Haunted Mansion with which is like with an anti with which is a bit of two just a little over two hours and and like yeah, if you just want if you just wanna see this this like attraction just come to life in a in a new kind of way, I don't think it'd be a very bad one to check out. So this, this wouldn't really be a movie that I'd be planning to watch again anytime soon. But overall, in total, it was an alright movie and it was better than what I was expecting. So with that, I am going to give Haunted Mansion a 6 out of 10. So with that, I'll see you guys next time and bye.